1994, Columbia surprised the college football world when they finished with a winning record for the first time in 23 years. Their goal entering this season was to prove that 1994 was just a foundation for future success. At home in Week 4, the Lions could reach that goal by beating two-time defending Ivy League champion Pennsylvania. A win would end the Quakers' nation-long 24-game winning streak and vault the Lions into first place in the Ivy League. The 13th-ranked Quakers were poised to take the early lead until sophomore free safety Joe Cormier made the biggest play of his young career. This time throws it, he's going to pass over the left side. Intercepted at the three-yard line. Cormier takes it back to the 20, to the 25, to the 30, breaks back to the middle, taken down at the 38-yard line. Cormier's interception jump-started the home crowd and the Columbia offense. On the next play, Mike Cavanaugh found Chris Valvo over the middle for 27 yards to the pen 34. From there, Cavanaugh did the rest. They're going to take the option around the left side. Cavanaugh finds a big hole to the 25, no one in front of him. 10 5 into the end zone. The game was tied at 7 late in the first half when the Lion offense mounted another scoring drive. It began with Cavanaugh carrying 17 yards into Penn territory. The senior quarterback picked up seven more on a draw. A reverse to Valvo around right end gained 13 more, putting the ball inside the pen 20. This set up senior Joe Aldrich, who converted on a 27-yard field goal, and Columbia took a 10-7 lead into halftime. The Lions trailed 14-10 in the third until the nation's leading punt returner, Roy Hanks, stepped into the spotlight. The sophomore speedster returned a short pen punt 39 yards for a touchdown, his second of the season, and Columbia was back on top, 17-14. Early in the fourth quarter, Penn worked their way to the Columbia 34 when the defense stepped it up again. Junior linebacker Rory Wilfork dropped Mark DeRosa for a seven-yard loss. On third and 16, DeRosa was swarmed by the Lion pass rush. Defensive end Charlie Bettinelli forced the ball loose, and it was recovered by tri-captain Eric Keck. This turnover would lead to the decisive score. Kavanaugh continued his hot hand, hitting David Ramirez down to the pen 30. A Kavanaugh keeper off right tackle picked up 11 more. Rolling right out of the shotgun, Kavanaugh connected with Ryan Ornelas inside the 10. Following the block of all Ivy left guard Craig Valentine, Kavanaugh worked his way to the one yard line. Then on third and goal, the senior quarterback followed his teammates around right end into the end zone for his second rushing touchdown of the game, and the Lions led by 10 with seven minutes to go. On the day, Kavanaugh rushed for 92 yards and passed for 147, and was named the Ivy League Offensive Player of the Week. Columbia's defense stopped any chance of a Penn comeback. On the Quakers' next possession, Joe Cormier intercepted Mark DeRosa for the second time in the game. Then with two and a half minutes to go, Penn's last chance for victory was denied by Roy Hanks at the 33 and the Columbia Lions put to end Pennsylvania's 24-game winning streak. The fans poured onto the field to celebrate Columbia's biggest win in nearly 50 years. Queen Stadium was filled with emotion as the memories of many frustrating seasons were washed away with Columbia's 24-14 win over Pennsylvania.